was a is a therapist. My dad was a child welfare social worker. Oh, I got you. So it's all in the family. Yeah, I mean, I, I did a master's in English lit back in like 2013. I finished that. Where did you go for that? Akron. So what year? If you don't mind me asking, what year did you graduate high school? Oh seven. You're an old soul. I had you pegged older than that sorry <laughs> i work at a youth shelter and the kids think i'm younger yeah i did a bachelor's in english got that when i was like 21 real fast i didn't really mess around didn't really think about it, it was just that's what i'm gonna do I wanted to go into academia and teach yeah there's a lot of things that had going on at the time that didn't make that really work i was kind of in the middle of the recession and, and yeah, I was struggling with, like, alcoholism and stuff at that time, too, for a decade or so. You decided to go into social work. That happened within the last year, last year and a half, basically. Um, I was like, I want to go back to school. I was considering between either education, like, getting a, something in education so I could, like, teach high school. Um, Because I taught a little bit of college, like composition, fiction appreciation. Like, I still love to read and write and worked on several novels, none of which I've, like, published or even gotten really close to trying to publish, but... Did you you get close to finishing any of those novels? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I did finish, like, four when I was 18. Oh, my gosh. Like, in a year. And they weren't good. Uh, I think there were good things about them. I mean, writing's hard. Um, it's hard writing songs, and it's hard to certainly hard to write a novel. I have been working on a few novels in the last couple of years that I think are. I guess the problem has been honesty. I don't know if I can really explain that better, but that's I think the crux of it. It's like I wanted to go in a different direction. I wanted to I think basically explore subjects the way my favorite novelists had, and look at things that really weren't my experience oh i gotcha i guess it just doesn't have the same power as if it's like actually your experience yeah and like he's somebody whose songs are like often stories about people yeah but there's like a an honesty to like his empathy, empathizing with them. Yeah. That does make it very personal, even though it's yeah focused on somebody else. Right. It's very true. And Lila, I think, has a kind of a similar... She does. Um, ...spirit or ethos. Yeah. When did music become a part of your existence? Well, I mean, really early, of course. I think, like, the first songs I remember really just loving were Christmas songs and uh like the goo dolls iris like basically the major goo goo doll songs that came on the radio i mean i didn't really have i took some piano lessons suzuki when i was young uh, my parents maybe i didn't really want to i did it anyways yeah and now you're glad you did maybe yeah um but then like fast forward maybe 10 years and my dad had been trying to get me into the beatles for a long time and yeah, and that I just picked up my dad's guitar. We were in Florida visiting his his family. I just picked it up and started playing, messing with it, um, sounding things out. And, you know, so it started with the Beatles and kind of Dylan and Neil Young, and then I moved. So the beginnings and, of it was guitar for you. Yeah, well, the of the things I chose to do. Okay, uh, yeah. but like I played piano way before that. Oh, I got you. I have, there's a few times where I've written a song, like the melody. I was like, I don't know if this would be on piano or on guitar. And I wound up doing it on guitar. Right. And kind of just composed it. Like it came to me, basically lyrics and melody intact. Uh, so that, that was one way. But usually I'd say I probably do on piano. You know, strong melody just seems like strong chordy cording comes behind it you know yeah I, I would say like i've always wanted to follow the melody and whatever i was doing um when a melody in a like a lyric like a single line and a single melodic phrase when they meet and are married that's like the beginning for me 
where that's like where the inspiration is the spirit kind of takes hold before i have that i'm just fishing okay, thing gotcha. right got yeah it. so that it's a subtle change but yep. you've got the down versus the up and then when we get to that more syncopated section mm -hmm. it'll make more sense to get funky there sweet that's subtle but might help um, Probably a big influence on me would be T.S. Eliot, The Wasteland, Love Song of J. Alfred Prufock, and a lot of other modernist poets, and then some postmodern poets as well, where I'm getting less at um, concrete things and more at feelings that are, I guess, just abstract. Um, but I, I don't know if this is something that is picked up by usually am discussing literature in some way or discussing film putting things in, like making allusions to whether it's hemingway or hegel or you know philosophers i like i love nick cave leonard cohen um some other songwriters kind of in those veins but they sort of blur the line between romantic relationships man and woman or whatever the uh, configuration is, and uh, God and man. And so they're kind of singing about, um, I guess, a sort of disembodied abstract love that I find interesting. Mm -hmm. 